Where's my hat? There's no hope. That's not my floppy hat. Creepy. Welcome to a new video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack my bag. For our trip to the Philippines we're going to be using the Pathfinder 2 which is a 65 litre rucksack. This doesn't open from the front, it's just a top open bag, but you can see how much space is inside. If I can shine my torch. I put my sweets down there at the bottom so you can see. So all my luggage, I'm using the packing cubes which are Go Next. I bought them for £15 on eBay. They come in three different sizes. So you've got the large, which is holding all my main clothes. You've got the medium, which is holding all my toiletries and little extra bits that girls need. And then I've got three of these small ones. I'm using this particular one for all my electrics. I'm only going to take a little hand luggage bag. I've got this caramel bag that I've had since I was about 12, so it's lasted me over 10 years. Passport, purse, some socks for the flight. I really swear by this stuff. When you're flying, let's see if that zooms in. When you're flying for hours and hours and your mouth is just feeling really dry and horrible from the flight air, it's good to have a bit of spray. Earplugs, uh, phone charger, eye mask, and sunglasses. I don't need much. It all goes in here, I'll show you. Underwear for the week, a couple of pairs of socks. When I got bikinis, I thought I'd just get a selection so that I can mix and match. White goes with black, and then just a blue one that I've had. It's probably more than enough shorts that I need, but I've got four pairs anyway. I've got three different coloured tank tops here, which are always good to have. And then just a couple more different tops, just for like the evenings or anything. Long trousers, which you know I'm not obsessed with. Got a couple of dresses in case I want to mix it up from the shorts. And then just a dress for the evening. A couple of bras, one strapless. I got this from Fat Face. I thought it'd be something good to put over a bikini. 
This is my go-to scarf, which you've probably seen me in loads of times. I got it in Thailand and I've loved it ever since I bought it. A little nighttime bag. I got that from Thailand when we went to see some elephants. And then a pair of flip-flops. I'm gonna be wearing my walking trainers when we travel. And there we have it. Do. <laughs> Yeah, it's all. You're gonna go out there and get it. I'm trying to vlog. Go out the window and get the big doggy. Oh, you can't reach. This is my toiletries bag. So rather than putting it into the bag, I'm gonna take it out and show you what I've got. Sun cream. I need factor 30 because I'm pasty. This came with the packing cubes. Thought it'd be good for all of our washing. Bar of soap. Spray, toothbrush, toothpaste, I put it in a little case just for hygiene purposes, hairbrush, medication, anything that you need in particular, just put it in a little bag. I use makeup wipes rather than like a liquid makeup remover, I just find it easier. Dry shampoo, it's good just to spray this and shake your hair up and it makes it nice and clean. For what we're doing and where we're going to be going, we need a notepad and a pen just so we can make notes on the entire trip. Because we like something called geocaching, we've got these little trackable tags that we picked up in the UK. The next geocache that we find, we're gonna drop these off. That's empty. This is all my smaller items. So in here, I've got a headband to put my hair back when I'm doing my makeup, my foundation, powders and blushes, makeup brush, I've got mascara and my eyeliner which I use in a little pot with a brush, roll on deodorant which is always good when you're travelling. I would have needed these items but I had my eyes lasered last September and it was the best thing I ever did. Smaller hairbrush in case you're going out for the day and you don't want to take a big full brush. Hand sanitizer because you don't know what sort of germs are about. Rather than taking a big bottle of perfume. It's always good to perhaps switch to these little smaller bottles. Just these cool little small perfumes which are great for travelling about. Lipstick, nail clippers which can come in handy, tweezers, hair bands and hair grips, a razor if you need it. I've got some section clips in here which are good for separating your hair if you're styling it in any way. Another foundation just as a backup in case I run out and I'm just taking this bracelet because well I like it. And that's it. I'm trying to get this video done before we go away and it's testing me because I've had no time in the week to do it because of work so weekend is the only time I get. He's working too. She's not working. She just likes to sleep. You want to be in the vlog, Lucy? No? Well, I'll put you in anyway because you're just so cute. Dilly, Dilly, you're cute too. <laughs> yeah, you are. She's dreaming about going off for an adventure as well. My electrical items that I'm taking. First of all, my MacBook. This is the MacBook Pro and I've had it for about 8 months. I'm taking my phone and I'll show you what camera I'm taking. I'm taking the Canon 200D. We bought this about a month ago. I think it's really good so far. This is all my electrical items that I'm going to be taking. That's my MacBook charger. It's a bit annoying that the way Apple have made this because it's a really bulky charger. And with the MacBook, there's no USB port on either side. It's just these little round Apple slots. So I've had to buy a converter that converts all the USB sticks and everything else. This is my little pouch that I've got. It holds my SD cards, my external hard drive which is 
Western Digital. I'm not sure how much it holds actually. I think it's a terabyte memory stick, it comes in handy. So this is that adapter I was talking about. So that plugs into my, my Mac and then I've got all my USB ports. And this is quite handy because there's no SD card reader for my Mac. I can just plug this into my phone, put the SD card in and it works a treat. This is just a little tripod thing that I use for my phone. I think Mike's broken it though because it's not very stable. This is a bit like a GoPro but it's a cheaper version. It's got a waterproof case. It's uh, a Queso but it's 4K Ultra HD and you can use Wi-Fi to connect it to your phone. It's a pretty good camera. It's basically what I use for everything in the um, Thailand video. This is my power bank which is really good, you can put two USB ports in there. If you charge it up for about four or five hours it can last you like a day or two. And that's a spare battery for the little GoPro camera. I have no idea what this wire is. That's it. 